What is up, everybody? Josh here again, and today we have an Icarus Week 108 update. This week, we get the new Tachyon armor set. It is a workshop armor set. I'm going to show you all about that and all the good stuff it has. Also, the Ignari, a new animal, is supposed to be coming next week. We have a little bit of news on that. Also, news on turrets. Let's get into it, shall we? Week 108 brings the Tachyon armor set from the workshop. As it says, it is a survivalist workshop armor with unique resistance buffs against fall damage and weather exposure. They also have an update on turrets for you to catch up on. And they also say Happy New Year's from the team at Rocketworks. We can't wait to do 2024 with you. Happy New Year. This will actually be the last video of the year the last update video so if you've watched the update video all year long comment down below i'd love this i'd love to see it first person to comment i'll pin your comment and thanks for watching also these smaller updates i noticed last week we didn't get much people watching that one but thank you so much if you do watch the update videos it does mean a lot to us so as stated this week we get the tachyon workshop armor and they've added that to the orbital workshop it's the first new armor they've added in a while with perks and buffs designed for the survivalist in you you get fall damage resistance and exposure resistance with the armor set they say these are some unique buffs they haven't experimented with before so it should provide some noticeable differences from the other armor sets that are valuable for some prospectors but less notable for those who can multitask more effectively once you're in the workshop, you go to armors, and at the very end, you're going to see the new Tachyon armor set, and it is a decent amount of Ren and exotics for you to unlock this gear set. The headpiece itself costs 200 Ren, 150 exotics to research, and to craft 100 Ren and 75 exotics. Actually, every single armor piece costs the exact same. So that means that the grand total for this armor piece is a whopping 1,500 Ren to unlock and craft one set and 1,125 exotics to craft and unlock one set. So 1,500 Ren and 1,125 exotics. So it's a decent amount, but let's take a look at the set bonuses and what these armors give and how they compare to the other armors we have. These two armor sets right here are their specialties. The ones that we really want to compare probably is the Nanio and New Tachyon. But this armor set is great for, of course, doing any kind of projectile or melee damage. It does boost your projectile melee damage by 10% in total with the whole set. Where this whole set right here, it will, of course, boost your yield from mining, felling trees. It's basically a gatherer's armor set. So it's definitely got its uses as well. The two I really want to compare these two is the Nanio armor set. And the Nanio armor set is going to boost more physical resistance. Actually, the Tachyon armor set has the least physical resistance out of all the armor sets, with only 18, where the ST700 and and the 400, they actually have 25 physical resistance. And Nanio boosting its whopping plus 33 physical resistance. They all have the exact same heat and cooled resistance. The fall damage on the Tachyon armor set is amazing. It's plus 25% fall resistance which is basically like three point landing at three points, which eliminates three talents. If you're using that, just use this armor set. Of course, it's a, like I said, if it's a weak armor set as far as its physical resistance goes, but as far as its stamina regeneration, it gets plus 25% stamina regeneration which is amazing, plus negative 50% stamina consumed by jumping, and we're going to test this very soon. But if you'd have the plus 50% stamina consumed by jumping and plyometrics, which we exclusively go into in our exploration talents, which is negative 50% consumed by jumping, that would technically mean negative 100% stamina consumed by jumping, which means that if you jump, which helps regenerate stamina, you won't actually use stamina for doing so. So we're going to test that out. It also boosts a plus 10% sprint speed right out to get go. So it's faster than any other armor set when it comes to that. Plus 10% sprint speed. And if you have all five pieces, you'll get the plus 25% fall resistance and plus 26 exposure resistance, which actually is more than the Nanio. 
Not by much, but it is actually four points more than Nanio, where Nanio will give you plus 22% exposure resistance. It's probably going to be the armor set that I use for my new migrating sands and rushing or farms that I do for exotics. The physical resistance is going to be a little bit of a change, but I don't think it's going to matter too awful much. So if you're wanting to get in and out real quick, the fastest probably before mounts, this is going to be your armor set you're going to want to do. And it's going to give you a, the best exposure resistance as well for storms. Couple that with talents like Weather in the Storm with more exposure resistance, you're going to have a lot of exposure resistance and it's going to help you quite a bit if you get stuck in a storm. And also it's a new skin. It's not a same skin, different color type deal that we've had with the other armor sets. It's a completely new looking armor and it actually looks halfway decent. But it does cost a decent amount of money to get. Let's show you it in action. So we're going to show you the new armor set. This thing is absolutely amazing, everyone. So we do have the Holer Enviro suit. We're doing the mass dampener stacked even with the diminishing returns. They're going to boost your movement speed. We have the Biomore backpack. We're going to throw that on just for the extra movement speed for it as well. And we're going to use the Juju Spear for its 10% movement speed. Of course, we have all the talents that provide movement speed and all that good stuff stamina regeneration we do have and it does actually stack we have plied low metrics if you use this armor set it gives you negative 50 percent stamina consumed by jumping and then if you use this talent plied low metrics you also get another 50 percent it does make it 100% reduction in stamina consumed by jumping. Let me show you what that means. We're also going to come over here to our more information. If you go over here and hit show more, you'll see that you could come over here and see your jumping stamina consumed. And that is actually negative 110% for us. So that means that we do not actually use stamina whatsoever to jump. We also have 4,416 stamina regen per minute with perks and all the armor and everything else we have showed you already we have negative 20 percent stamina consumed by sprinting as well so that means that you can literally jump if you sit there and just jump while you're using all this you will literally never have to stop for stamina you can sit there forever and just sit there and keep jumping even up hills like this look that stamina bar hasn't even moved and we're moving at a whopping 550 movement speed with this. This is what we have on right here. We have the Juju Spear out for the movement speed. These are our talents. If you're interested in seeing how we're doing it, this is all vanilla, by the way. I don't play modded. This is what I have. So being able to run and just basically just keep jumping. Uh, you don't, you could jump up hills, jump down hills, doesn't matter. Just keep jump. As long as you keep jumping, you're not going to use stamina basically, which means you're going to be able to go across the map quite quick. Now it's not as fast as Moas are still. Moas are really, really fast animals. And you also have that built in plus 25% sprain or fall resistance. So you can actually jump down hills and stuff like that. And you won't, get hurt as much see look we haven't even and this is this is gravy look at this we're going down the hill right now going down the hills even better Oop, hit a tree but so you can sit there and basically just jump let's go up this hill i want to show you that let's go over this way see if i start running i use stamina but if i'm going to hop up this hill <laughs> Why well, stop, right? Because you don't have to. Good stuff, good stuff. So as long as you get this armor set, it's expensive, but I think it's an armor set maybe for like quick rescues. You can rescue people. It's one of the absolute fastest armor sets that they've released to this date. And it actually looks pretty cool. I actually do like the look of the armor set. It is pretty neat, to be honest with you. I actually love the look of it. It's not a uh, reskin model or anything like that. It's a new armor set. So that is the new Tachyon armor set that they added this week.
They also say that turrets are soon. As mentioned a couple weeks ago, they are currently working on turrets as an act of an autonomous defense system for your bases. These will be electronically powered and will require ammo, which will be then refilled on a semi-regular basis. These will target nearby attacking creatures that stray too close, so the more dangerous region you're in, the more expensive these will be to manage, but also more valuable. And hopefully we could turn them off. I just personally use the creature deterrent and don't usually have an issue with creatures coming to my base, but this could be used in a horde mode maybe situation. We'll have to check those out when they come out. And as mentioned, next week we're getting a new creature variation called the Ignari. Next week update will bring a new variation on an existing creature, the Viscid, and it's found only in the volcanic biomes, while its sibling is found in only the swamp. So the Ignari is going to be in the volcanic biomes, and the Viscid's going to be in the swamps. Essentially is how that boils down. It's going to have its own unique resistances and weaknesses suited to its environment so approach it with caution when you encounter it give them money it's money and they need it now and then we got the new year change log it's the last change log of the year and look at it it's just unlocked tachyon workshop armor that's it that's that's it that's the change log and that's the update everybody that's it that's all she wrote a really nice armor set we got this week, though. I'm, I'm interested in playing with that this Friday. And this is the part where we thank our late night crew members. KHX Sergio, Wolfie, Sandy, Silver, John, EMC2, Rod Knob, Aaron, Steady Bob, Jim K72, Kristen, Jaybird, Sam Chez, MTZ Gaming, Bitang Warrior, The Botto 4, Sven, Rare, Sasquatch, Fubar, and Chris Parsons. Thank you so much for being part of the Late Night Crew and for being part of our YouTube members. And we also want to say thank you to the Late Night Crew supporters as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And also, just to mention some milestones for the channel, we've actually just reached 100,000 hours of watch time. 3,000 subscribers currently at 3073, as this is being recorded. And we have officially had 1 million views now here on YouTube. And I want to thank everybody. We were wanting to get to 2,000 by the end of the year. Thank you guys for watching all the content we put out. We're going to probably double down next year. And I'm going to try to put out more content than I did before. We'll see. I, it, it's all based on time and what I have time for. We're going to try to be a pillar for the Icarus and other survival game communities. And try to continue our content. And I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do at any point in time like or dislike what we're doing, let me know know that way i can actually have a little bit of feedback comment down below i always answer everybody's comments and if i don't answer my least read them so and who knows maybe one day i'll be a full-time youtuber and then i'll be able to dedicate more time towards updating videos or putting more content out stuff like that so thank you guys and we really couldn't ask for a better community that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget if you like what you see to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Subscribing will get you weekly Icarus update videos just like this one and content videos whenever those come out as well. Hope everybody has a safe and happy holidays, happy new year, all that good stuff. And hopefully we'll see you next year. <laughs> Peace.